All right, so this is the Friday, January 15th science assignment. We're going to read through these two um, slides here. What I've done is I've taken um, small little passages and just cut and pasted them right into this slideshow. Um, so four little passages that I've made into one big passage. So I'm going to refer to these as sections, like the skeletal system section, the bone section, um, and the questions that go along with this. All right, so if you haven't already, you can adjust your zoom like I did here to 100%. That just makes it easier to read. And now I'm going to go ahead and start reading this aloud. So starting with the skeletal system section. All the bones in the human body are called the skeleton. The skeleton gives the body shape and form so we don't flop around like a jellyfish. Bones and all the connecting parts like joints, joints, cartilage, I have cartilage at the tip of my nose, ligaments and tendons make up the skeletal system. So the skeletal system is not just bones, it's these other things like joints, cartilage, ligaments and tendons as well. The skeletal system has many jobs or functions, function is another word for job. In addition to giving the body shape, it protects the organs. The skeletal system allows us to move and bend Inside bones, blood cells are produced. Okay, before I move on to the bone section, there's going to be a question about this, so I want to make sure I discuss this a little bit. So, we all know that a simile is when you take two things that have very little in common, and you make some sort of comparison between the two using the words like or as. So, in this sentence here, the skeleton gives the body shape and form so we don't flop around like a jellyfish. That's a simile. So it's comparing us, we, if we didn't have bones, to a jellyfish. We and jellyfish, us and jellyfish, we don't have much in common. So this would be a simile. So it's comparing us to a jelly, jellyfish using like, in this example, um, now, I'll bring this up because another part of this paragraph uses the word like, and one of the biggest mistakes I see anyone making, whether they're in fifth grade or they're 60, is that they think that like automatically makes something a simile, and it doesn't. In this example, it says bones and all the connecting parts like joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons make up the skeletal system. That's not a simile. You're not comparing anything to anything else. You're giving a list of things that are in the skeletal system. And they just happen to use the word like, but they could have said bones and all the connecting parts, such as joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. Um, bones and all the connecting parts, um, including joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. So like is just being used as a word here to let you know they're going to give you examples. So it's not making a comparison here. So that's not a simile. The simile happens when you're comparing two unlike things using like or as to make some sort of point. And the point that we're making here is without bones, we would just flop around. We'd fall to the ground. We would have really no shape, just like a jellyfish. All right, moving on to the bones section. Bones make up the skeletal system. Bones are thick and strong on the outside and spongy on the inside. This makes them difficult to break, but not too heavy to keep you from moving. Newborn babies have about 300 bones in their bodies. As babies grow, their bones fuse together. When bones fuse together, they grow together to become one large bone. An adult has 206 bones. So when you were born, you had 300 bones. By the time you're an adult, you will have just 206 bones. But that doesn't mean you lost bones. It means that your smaller bones fused. They came together to form a larger bone. Bones continue to grow in length from birth until the age of 25. If bones are broken, they will regrow and repair themselves. So your bones will continue to grow until the age of 25. That's pretty interesting. All right, moving on to ligaments and joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. The skeletal system is not just made of bones. I made that point a few minutes ago. It also includes, see, this time they didn't say like. 
it also includes joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. The area where our bones meet is called a joint. So like, for example, you have a joint in here where your elbow is, um, where your shoulders are. Some joints allow for movement and others do not. Bones are held together at a joint by tissues called ligaments. So where two bones meet, they have that tissue called a ligament. And that's where the joint is. And some of those joints allow movements, like this joint obviously allows movement. But there are joints that don't allow movement. Another type of hard tissue called cartilage keeps bones from rubbing together. Cartilage is found in babies before bones grow. Tendons connect muscles to bones. All right, moving along to bones are alive. I'm gonna get this over just a little bit, there we go. Bones in our body are alive and working. I know it's hard to imagine that your bones are living, but they are, just like every cell in your body is living. You're not the only one living here. Old bones are broken down and new bo bones are formed. Actually, bones are completely new every seven years. So during a seven year period, if you looked at where you were nine, 10 years ago and where you are now, your bones are have re, um, what's the word I wanna say? Um, they've broken down and it's like regenerated. So you have a new set of bones since 10 years ago. Inside of our bones is a substance called bone marrow. Bone marrow is responsible for making blood cells for our bodies. Whenever you bleed or blood cells die, new blood cells made inside bones replace the lost cells. So your cells have a lifespan. Um, some cells live longer than others, but when um, the end of the cell's lifespan arrives, then it's going to die, but you will have new cells that will take its place, so to speak. So um, your blood cells do have a lifespan and eventually they die, but your bone marrow is producing more blood cells constantly to replace the ones that have lived out their lives and are no longer useful. Because bones are alive, they can heal themselves when broken. Fractured or broken bones will grow new cells in repair. This process can take months. All right, so you have your science assignment, which you can access through Google Classroom. Here it is. All right, you should put your name and your email. Um, also, I suggest having this up here so you can toggle back and forth. So let me just get rid of that. I'm going to look at the assignment and I'm gonna go back to the passage to find my answers the whole way through. All right, number one, from the section skeletal system, so you would need to go back to this first section to find the answer. What is the difference between the skeleton and the skeletal system? All right, and it says right in here what the skeleton is and what the skeletal system is. All right, so is the answer, there's no difference. The skeleton and skeletal system are the same exact thing. Is it the skeletal system is made of bones while the skeleton is made of joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons? Is it the skeletal system is made up only of bones while the skeleton is made up of bones and connecting parts? Or is it the skeleton, the skeletal system is made up of bones and connecting parts while the skeleton is made only of bones? It's kind of tricky. You really need to know the difference between what, a, what the skeleton is referring to and what the skeletal system refers to. And if you got a good grasp of that, then getting through the, this question will be easy. Number two, from the bones section, why do newborn babies have 300 bones while adults have 206? This one's a little bit easier. Um, it's going to come from this section. Here I see 300 bones for newborns, 206 for adults. And the reason why is somewhere in that paragraph. Is it because, so the, is the reason that adults have fewer bones than babies, is it because bones are often broken in childhood? 
Children and teenagers lose bones as they grow older. Babies are larger than adults. Okay, if anyone picks that, I know they didn't watch this video and they're not <laughs> reading the question or the answers. As babies grow, their bones fuse together. Number three, from the joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons section, so that would be the third one right here, what is the purpose of cartilage? Well, this should be fairly easy. I'm going to find cartilage here. I know it's going to tell me what it does and its purpose somewhere around that underlying term. So does cartilage connect muscles to bones? Does it connect bones together? Does it keep bones from rubbing together? Or does it allow bones to move? From the same exact section, what is the purpose of tendons? So just like I did with cartilage, I see tendons is underlined here, and I guarantee the answer is somewhere right around in here because that would make sense. So do tendons connect muscles to bones, connect bones together, keep bones from rubbing together, or keep bones from moving? Number five. I don't have my contacts, and I'm like, what does that say? All right. From the bones are alive section, so the last one, I don't know why my little thing keeps moving, it's driving me nuts. Okay, from the bones are alive section, how often are bones completely new? Does you get a, like a complete new set of bones every single day? Never? Every seven years or every 70? 70, seven zero years. Number six, from bones are alive, what is the purpose of bone marrow? Well, let's see if I go back here. Ooh, I see bone marrow is the, the second paragraph. So the main idea of that second paragraph has to do with bone marrow because that's what it's talking about from start to finish. Um, what is its purpose? Is its purpose to prevent bones from breaking, to absorb shocks from falls, to produce blood cells, or to allow bones to heal themselves? Number seven, from bones are alive, so that same section as well, how do bones heal? So, oh, I see repair and I see heal, must be that third paragraph. So, how do bones heal? Bones heal themselves. Bones heal because they have bone marrow. Bones heal from medicine or bones do not heal. Number eight, here's one of them tricky questions to make sure that you are watching my video. What color was the shirt of the person doing this video? Well, the person doing the video is me, and here's the color of my shirt. So is my shirt red, orange, white, or blue? All right, number nine, from Bones Are Alive, what happens when our blood cells die? All right, so that same one. I pulled a lot of questions from this one. Um... All right, I see blood cells. I see blood cells. Um, so I'm looking for blood cells dying. Okay, so whenever you bleed or blood cells die, so now it's going to tell me what happens when they die. So does what happen, what happens is it we die? So our blood cells die, so therefore we die. Uh, new blood cells produced by the bone marrow replace the lost cells. Dead blood cells are stored in the bone stored stored in the bone stored in the bone marrow so they don't make us sick stored means to keep it there like um like storage like when you store things in storage you're kind of keeping it there or does our heart make new blood cells and i didn't hear or read aloud or see anything that had to do with the heart so if i see people picking that i know they're not reading or following along like they should be number 10 from the skeletal system section that's the first one. What is the simile I talk about in the video? So I just just did that like 12 minutes ago. So I mentioned a simile in this first, oops, first section, first paragraph actually of the first section. And I said how one of these sentences with the word like in it is a simile and the other one is not. So make sure you pick the one that is actually the simile. So was the simile when I was talking about we don't flop around like a jellyfish, bones and all the connecting parts like joints, or all the bones in the human body are called the skeleton, and hopefully no one picks that because that's not a simile. 
All right, so when you are finished, you can click Submit. Make sure you mark this done. If you have any questions about this, you can email me or send me a message, and I will get back to you. Um, this should be fairly easy if you followed along with the read aloud and stayed with me through the whole thing. So um, this is due by 11.59 tonight. Make sure you get that done, and have a fantastic weekend.